This is Romania. Can't quite tell. I guess he is tied down there. Hello. So I'm almost to the bat cave and here is the Bistrita Monastery. It's massive. There was another road which is over there going up to it so I will try to stop there on the way back. I can. And then the bat cave is right up this road. Something up there. There's tons of monasteries around here. Beautiful mountains and the usual green forests. And then, is that an aqueduct right there? What is this? Hmm. Okay, oh, 15 to 20 minutes. I think Decapolitol is the same thing. What does the map say? Okay, it's saying up ahead a little bit further. Wow. Driving into this crazy gorge. Man, this is pretty dramatic. Am I supposed to park here? Let's go ahead and park. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. There are some carvings on the cliff there that are really, really unique. Okay, let's uh, park here. All right. The Bastrida Gorges are remarkable through the beauty of the karstic relief with high walls, rocks, caves, through waterfalls, but also through their flora and fauna, rich in rare species protected by the law. They have a length of approximately two kilometers and reach four meters in their narrowest portion. So I didn't know anything about the canyon or this. Wow, this is some absolutely mind-blowing history here. So I guess the cave is a little bit further up there. But uh, first, got to get a closer look at these. That is just absolutely phenomenal. Just out of the blue, nothing else around, just rock canyons and then this amazing sophisticated artwork. Look at the detail, the... Uh, style of writing, and then up there, a cross, a man and a woman who look like normal people, three cases on the bottom, and then writing. How absolutely unusual. So I think that the Bat Cave is also a church or some sort of a religious site. It isn't just a cave. So 
this must be connected to the back cage. So there I am, blue dots. There is the bat's cave, also called Pastera lilicillor, showing it like right there. So, something is wrong. Let's poke around. Well, at this point, I am just flying blind, trying to find a cave in a gorge, walking down a road. Maybe it was one of the signs back there. There was that parking area right there, but maybe that was more for the hiking trails or something because it didn't mention anything about the bat cave. Hmm. Sort of a cave. I don't think that's the bat cave. It is a pretty gorge, but uh, no signs, literal or figurative, pointing towards the cave of the bats, so Going to walk back to the parking lot and look the other direction. Maybe it's a walk off the road at one of the signs that I passed. Okay, back at the parking lot. And we have a sign that I didn't pay attention to before. And here it is. Pestera Lilia Silor. That is the Bat Cave. And see, there is a church. That is what I'm looking for. And then it was mentioned on another sign previously, Pestera Ursalor. So Ursalor Ursus, like Ursa Major and Ursa Minor, bear. Latin for bear in Romanian. So that is the bear cave. Okay, now you are here. Okay. Google is correct, but there's just a massive cliff there. Oh man, this is turning into one hell of a uh, wild goose chase. You are here, just past the Bistrita Monastery. Okay, I want to hike up to that, Arnota Monastery, so you can hike from there. I guess up that, but how the heck is that? Okay, it looks like I have to access it from this way. There we go. So there should be a trail somewhere right down here that I guess is going to go up there. And then it's like up on top of that cliff or something. So, ay ay ay. yi all right, well, let the adventure commence. See if there's a trail over here. This must be the way. There's the monastery. Yep. So, I'd seen that sign before as I was driving past and then saw the 15 to 20 minutes and then was just kind of unsure whether to keep going or what. So it looks like we have figured it out. But, um, huh? Okay. This is the trail going under the aqueduct. Straight into the deep grass. Whoa. This is turning into one of the most mysterious 
epic adventures. Okay, I guess this has to be it. But it is not much of a trail. 15 to 20 minutes, so I guess a kilometer or so. But I need to get up onto that cliff, apparently. Is it uh, this way? Ay, 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 ay. What the hell? Is this it? It's gotta be because that is going behind the monastery. Okay. This is pretty crazy. But it is a fairly clear trail. If this works, and I actually get to that church inside of a cave, man, this is going to be really, really ultimate. And that trail leads to this more substantial trail going in the exact right direction. Yes. This is so bizarre how everything is falling into place and it's all making sense. Google was right, the signs were right, but what is so strange is how there was that barely a trail which then leads to this very, very clear trail with the freaking big uh, railing. <laughs> so why isn't there a better trail at the start. Anyways, this is a fun one. And we are up on the cliff. So, if you are wondering, where am I sleeping tonight? Excellent question. I am wondering that as well. No idea. Because I had no clue how much progress I was going to make today. How much time all of this would take. And so, after this, maybe I'll poke around a little bit more here and then get back on the road, heading in the general direction of Timishwara. My flight is tomorrow evening around 7, so I most likely won't spend a night in Timishwara. I'm certain I won't because it's quite a long drive from here and there are some more things that I want to see along the way, which I will save for tomorrow. So, I'll just uh, get back on the road soon and then see where I end up. And there's my car. Funny that the whole time, the trail was staring down at me as I wandered around, trying to figure it out. Ooh. Must be getting close to the cave church. Wow, really interesting symbols. Sun. Not sure if that's Jesus. And I. Definitely Jesus. Ka. Someone with a cross. Looks like probably a worshiper. And then. Wow. 
sun, moon, wild, and re. Things are getting curiouser and curiouser. And we now have steps. The path gets more and more prominent as we get closer. Now, rock cut stairs. Oh. Whoa. This is it. It's a small entrance and there I was down on that path looking on the map thinking how the heck could the cave be inside a cliff? Oh. There's a door. I am definitely going to that monastery next. But what is the deal here? Is this going to open? This thing sure looks very, very closed and locked. What in the world? It is a tiny shaft. Is that the keyhole? Oh, there's a lock. Oh, that's the ultimate answer there. Oh man, oh, what a bummer. Let me get some light on the uh, tunnel. So I wonder if it's open until some time of the day. It's 4.30 currently. Oh, what a shame. A little stool and then a tunnel going back in there. Oh, I am just so devastated to not be able to go back in there. A rock with a little cross on it. This has still been an absolutely ultimate adventure, but uh, when is this thing open? It is Wednesday, August 9th, 4.36 p.m. I think on Google it said open 24 hours, so yeah, definitely not uh, getting through that. So what I did was a shortcut. When I came along the trail at first and thought that it was just going along the monastery there, but the trail continues around and then goes up like that. But still, it is odd that it was much less clear there. Here are the noisemakers. Very nice uh, farm here. And then there, a clear sign pointing towards the uh, St. Gregory de Capolatour. I think that that is it. The Bat Cave. Hello, guys. Chickens and turkeys all hanging out together in peace. Hopefully. Wow, a lot of them. Big old rooster there. and ducks and geese. Okay, they have the 
chickens and turkeys together and the ducks and geese together. That's funny. Okay, let's try to hike up to that other monastery on the hill. So there you go. You have reached the bat's cave. Unfortunately, not. I don't understand because that is very light right there. Whereas I came across that tiny little tunnel. Inside it, there are two churches partially carved in stone. Ovidenya Church and the Archangel's Church. Oh man, it sounds so cool. So there must be another cavern up above or something that you then get to? I still don't understand, unless there was some other trail. And then there's this other monastery there. And so I must have been really close to the bear cave because I walked up there, crossed a bridge right there, and then walked about like somewhere over there. Huh. And then there's this other church or monastery there. But now let's try to hike up to the Arnota Monastery. So this gate is wide open, going right into the monastery. Let's just poke around, get a quick look at it. Gardens, tons and tons of tomatoes. Where is everybody? Oh, there's somebody. Guess we'll see if somebody kicks me out. Hello. These people look like tourists, so it's probably okay to be here. They probably entered through the front entrance. Wow. This is just one of those travel days where just all the incredible stuff happens. And there is the aqueduct, and the other monastery must be right around the corner there. Okay, so uh, almost back to my car. Now the question is, where is the trail going up there? Because 
I didn't notice if there was one going straight from here. If not, I might abandon that mission since we saw inside the Bastrita Monastery. But if there's a trail right there, that should be a fairly quick hike getting up there. So I'm back in the gorge. I decided to drive up here and see if I could find the bear cave. So that right there is the sort of cave that I saw when I was standing right there and then turned around. Look how close I was to the bear cave. We have a sign, not much on it, but it is pointing towards something and we have another sign and some stairs right here. Pestera Ursulor. Okay, how far does it go? Looks like it's pretty close. Okay. Hello. But it is steep. Well, let's check it out. And fortunately, it's close. Right there, and it's huge. Oh my god! Oh! That is crazy! Whoa! You can imagine bears hanging out in there. Looks like there's a trail going down into it. I guess that's the uh, back of the cave there. Looks like some people have had some uh, campfires, maybe some beers. Maybe the bears had beers. Maybe the bearded bears had beers. Okay. That is very intense. Okay, well, I think that I might uh, abandon plan to hike to that other monastery and start making some miles in the direction of Timmy Suara. We'll see uh, what I see along the way. Nothing else in particular for today. Tomorrow, then I have several other uh, places to visit. So uh, we'll see if I see anything else interesting this evening, very likely, is about uh, five o'clock, so lots of light left. Let's keep on cruising and go see more of Romania. So it turns out, hello. You can drive to the monastery. And it is quite an interesting drive. Oh. Goats. Dogs chasing the car. Tunnel through the trees. Very, very narrow road.
here we are. Chitul Papusa. On a cliff at the feet of Arnata Mountain lies the Papusa Skete. It takes 15 minutes to arrive here from the Bistrita Monastery on a trail built in 1712 by the monks from the Bistrita Monastery. It is very cute. Looks like somebody's probably here. There's a nun sitting inside it, reading, I guess, the Bible or something. Wow. What a view. And what a day. There is the railing for the trail going to the back cave. All right. Time for me to keep on cruising down the road and make some progress.